Hello everybody, welcome to Flag Panzer's channel and in this video I'm going to be going through what is the RTS system and this is going to be a basic training about the RTS system and all of its things that go with it. Um, up until now you have probably been playing the FPS part of the game and you have been playing with one of your heroes for a faction whether it's American, German, or Russian. Uh, I myself am a Soviet main player, but I have been dabbling in other factions like the Americans and the German side. Um, Flak Panzer was originally a German main player, but when the Soviets came out, I flocked over to that faction as quickly as I could. Uh, it was something I was interested in, and I, I started playing them from day one. Now, we're going to be going over as to why you need to play the RTS as far as also playing the FPS. First off is that once you reach uh, getting to be a level 12 character, up until then you were playing the FPS and the uh, rank XP was pretty much even keeled at 12,500 XP per rank. But you notice that once you hit rank 11, the rank XP jumped to 24,000 rank XP. And then after that, once you hit level, level 12, the rank XP jumps to uh, 59,000 rank XP. Now, the reason for the jump to the 59,000 rank XP was because you're going to get a command point. But before we get into that, first, what you need to do, as I'm, you can see, a, I am a... Uh, global member i am not part of a faction at this point in time you need to pick a faction as to which part of the war you want to be uh, known as so that you play those particular assault teams in the rts on a regular basis i myself am a soviet main so that's the faction i'm going to pick the way to pick your faction is you click up here at the generals tab and you click generals this will come up this particular menu now, you have three options. You have American, German, and Soviets in the war. Um, due to the time of the period that you're I'm clicking in this particular war, it will say to me that the uh, Americans get a 6% chance gain of uh, rank XP for every battle that they play, and the Soviets get 54%. This is what interested me the most when I picked Soviet be my main because I am gaining so much more rank XP for every battle I play. I will explain this later on in the series of how to play the RTS about what this particular means, th this particular number means uh, for the faction. As per se, I will be clicking Soviets for the war. So I click Soviets, it tells me that these are the starting cities, this is how many cities I need to win for the war, and I click join to join the war. I click join. And now I'm part of the Soviets for the faction. You can see my, my uh, faction has changed from global to Soviets. Now, once I've joined the Soviets, um, the red faction is going to be my main faction. Now, if you're a type of person where at the top, uh, the faction is just blue and red, in order to change the faction to see all three factions, you must click this top right where it says the three circles. You click this and it will change the factions into your particular faction. So red is Soviet, green is American, purple is German. Um, now, in order to play the RTS, you must deploy your assault teams. I will get into that in the later part of the series as to how to buy and name your assault teams. But the assault teams in this game are very important. These are the uh, resources that provide you to spawn infantry, tank, recon, para, pilots in the in the war. When you particularly uh, play a particular battle, you will see resources as such that these are the resources that are being provided for this particular battle in order for the battle to play. What that means is that when you throw your assault team into a battle, if let's say as an example, your assault team is on the E line and you throw your 36 little men into that line when somebody spawns out of your assault team whatever they do as far as rank xp whether they capture a point kill a person 
blow up a vehicle, steal a vehicle, whatever they do as infantry, if it came out of your assault team, you will also receive that rank XP. So the more chances they spawn for um more chances they spawn out of your assault teams the more rank xp you will receive for the character that that assault team is linked to so your best choice of action is to throw your assault teams into areas that you will get the most uh chances that the assault team will get used that this is the reason why you need to play the rts part of the game as well as the fps part of the game at the same time because you want your assault teams to get used on a regular basis. The RTS system is designed so that you gain rank XP to further your character's rank XP along the way. Because at rank 12, you will start out with 59,000 rank XP to get to 13. 13 to 14 is another 59,000 rank XP. 14 to 15, it will change to 253,000 rank XP. And the reason for the change is because you will start to get uh, a higher uh, tier amount of, um, you will get more command points, these little dots up here. So once you hit uh, rank, uh, I don't have one at the moment, but once you hit rank uh, 14, it will be 243,000 rank XP. And at once you finish that and you get to the 243, you get to rank 15 you will get a second command point the second command point obviously gives you double the amount of uh xp that you can gain so you, the xp will go up so at 215 you will start to have to have 1 million rank xp as you can see i have a rank 15 you need 1 million 36000 rank xp to get to the next rank uh at rank 17 you will need 2 million, um, this is a rank 16, I think, rank, no, it's 15. Rank 15 to rank 16 is 1 million 36,000 rank XP. From 16 to 17, it's another million 36,000 rank XP, but you will receive another command point, so this will give you more chances to make XP with your assault teams in that battle. 16 to 17, uh, 16 to 17 is 1 million 36,000 and then after that when you hit level 17 it's uh 2 million um i think it's 2 million give me a sec i'll tell you a second 2 million oops, no 2 million 500,000 rank xp to reach uh level 7, 18 which is general so you need to use your assault teams and the RTS part of the system to get high ranking characters. The higher the rank of the character, the more uh, credits you will be earning in the game. So thank you for watching this particular video. I hope this was informative about why you need to play the RTS system. I hope you play uh, to the best enjoyment for your particular faction. And I will continue about how to do other particular uh, things about the RTS section in later videos. This was the introduction to the RTS system. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button for YouTube uh, and my stream on Twitch, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Later, everybody.